Hey YouTube, got another knife review for you. This, uh, these are the Topps Key Knives, right? Um, pretty much all Topps knives are made in the USA, including these knives. And as you can see, these are small, handy little knives. Uh, the lower one is the Model A, uh, and the longer one on top is the Model C, which is the Hoffman Harpoon model of Key Knife. All right. Now these are both 1095 high carbon steel, all right, with the black uh, black powder uh, traction coating that Tops uses, which is a very good. Uh, it's a durable coating, anti anti wear, anti rust. All right. Now you might be thinking, all right, so that's Model A and Model C. Uh, what about Model B? I don't have the Model B, but basically. It pretty much looks like uh, it pretty much looks like the bottom knife, but instead of that clip point portion, uh, it's just uh, a drop point. All right. Now the length of the cutting edge for both of these knives is 2.5 inches. All right. So these will get you underneath, even if you live under a really strict limit somewhere, blade length. These should get underneath the limit, hopefully. All right, so two and a half inches in edge length. All right now, the total length of the uh, shorter one is five and a quarter inches overall length. Uh, the Hoffman Harpoon one is six and a quarter inches overall length. Okay, so these are some small, handy knives. You know that's obviously why it's called a key knife. All right, let's take a look at them individually. All right, this is the Topps Key Knife Model A, and just to give you a size comparison. Uh, aside from my hand, from how small these are, this is uh, my Browse Blades neck knife. Awesome knife. And, it, and it's a fairly small knife. Alright, so you see. Alright, the tops, the tops key knife, it's a little bit longer than the, uh, the Browse, the Browse neck knife. Alright. Alright, now this is a very handy little knife. You know, I've always said you're always going to find a use for a small handy fixed blade All right, and you see it has a lanyard hole there and obviously the handle it's you know obviously it's one piece very strong fairly thick one piece construction skeletonized handle obviously they say that can be used as a bottle opener too All right, it's a little bit of jimping right there and there and on a, a little bit of a thumb ramp with jimping there. All right. And look at the belly. Look at the belly on that blade for um you know, for a blade that's only two and a half inches long, it really gives you a good belly for a, you know, and I could open packages with this. Um, it reminds me of one of those Alaskan Yulu knives, like if it didn't have a handle, if it was just that with a handle like up here, it would be like a Yulu knife. All right. Those are interesting knives, you can look them up, but they have all kinds of basically cooking uses. All right. And as you can see, it basically has a bit of a clip point. The reason I got this instead of the Model B, which just looks very similar but with a drop point, is just I like the uniqueness of the look. I like the very full belly combined with a clip point. It's just a very unique, and I think it would be very functional and handy as well. All right, let's take a look at the Model C. All right, now this is based on some larger knives. Um, there are three different Hoffman Harpoon knives by Tops, and then this makes four. And this is the um, you know the smallest one, and they've integrated the uh, the key type handle lanyard hole there. Fairly look, look how thick and durable. Nice jimping there. And look at the ergonomics. That acts as an integral guard. Nice. You can choke up like that. Pretty cool. All right now, the price tags on these are a little strange. The price on this, uh, you know, it was uh, twenty-six dollars. All right, but then the, the best price I could find on this was fifty-six. So I'm not really sure. I th I think that's just because this is new. I've only seen this available in a few places, so maybe maybe that's why the price is initially um, you know thirty dollars more than the other one but of course this is also this one is just bigger all right and it would be slightly different applications all right and real quick when we, let me show you the sheath 
This one comes with a molded Kydex sheath, right? And it locks in there. Uh, it is, it is very secure, right? It's it's not going to come out. It's held in there through friction. It comes with this beaded chain, so it, it this is meant as a a neck knife, but it also has these eyelets here. You could attach some sort of clip for your belt, and it's very good because it retains the knife. Uh, but the deployment is very easy, all right? And the sheath barely weighs anything. So I, I like the sheath, all right? And the weight on this knife uh, is less than two ounces, all right? So super convenient. Now the Hoffman Harpoon Key, the weight on this is closer to uh, about two and a half ounces. So still super light and it comes with this sheath, it's meant for your belt, okay, it has that loop there. It's meant for your belt, it's a, just a stick, a uh, thick stitched leather sheath. And uh, it's kind of weird, I've never seen this type of sheath by Tops before. But there it is, holds it in. Now if you plan to use this as a self-defense option, I'm thinking most people would probably have a custom sheath made or make it themselves. Uh, just to suit whatever type of carry you're most comfortable with. Alright. But yeah, there's the sheath. Overall, I like these knives a lot. You know, the, the lighter one is less than 2 ounces and the, the heavy one is still only 2.5 ounces. That's pretty great. Uh, the, the 1095 high carbon steel um, is, is good, tough, tough, uh, high quality, high carbon steel. Um, I've always liked the black traction coating on Topps knives. It's a first-rate coating. It's far superior to just the painted on, the painted on Teflon. Uh, the thickness on the Hoffman Harpoon Key uh, is impressive. Uh, definitely durable. I like the blade designs uh, on on the uh, Model A Key. Uh, even though it's two and a half inches in blade length, they've exaggerated the belly quite a bit. Um, I could see using that as even a mini a mini skinning knife out of doors, right? And the Hoffman harpoons have always been interesting designs. Um, harpoon is right, you know, it's half utility knife and half uh, emergency last ditch tool, and uh, I think it would do good in both roles. And overall, I think this whole key line, they have three different model keys now in their lineup, Tops does. I think this whole line is a winning line because even people that normally only carry a folder, or maybe they're only able to carry a folder, even those people can manage to carry such small, lightweight fixed blades, right? So I think, you know, almost anyone could find a use for these, and... Um, you know, if they can keep the prices down, I mean, this is the kind of thing that would sell like hotcakes. I, I could easily imagine them expanding the line to have like 12 different models. A little mini Karambit, a little mini Persian, a mini Warncliffe. Uh, the possibilities are pretty endless, all right, and uh, I, I hope they do that. All right, and I like that harpoon design so much. This this might actually be getting me to try out some of the larger Hoffman harpoon uh, blades by Tops. So maybe in the future I'll review one of those. All right, well I hope you enjoyed the review. Stay tuned for many more. I'm out of here, dudes. Peace out.